Today's video is brought to you by Shade Tree Sunglasses. These premium wood frame sunglasses are handmade, polarized, and provide 100% UV protection. They also come with a microfiber bag and a bamboo case with every order, and shipping in the U.S. is always free. Oh, and they also make socks. See them? I'll take them off. Master Ken here with another secret street fighting tip. Recently, a student asked me how a Meridote would deal with the issue of a blind attacker. This, of course, falls into something we've addressed before, a category that I like to call destructive disables. The idea being that just because someone is disabled doesn't mean they can't be a threat to you, so we have to evaluate that. What are the advantages of being blind in a fight? Well, first of all, he's unpredictable because I don't know where he's swinging and neither does he. So if he connects and he doesn't even know that the target is there, he could really take my head off. Number two, he is not susceptible to feints or fakes or visual distractions like so. See, he can't see any of that. Number three, it is generally considered socially acceptable for a blind person to carry a walking stick everywhere. Uh, bars, restaurants, planes. Um, so he's most likely going to have a weapon on him if you end up in a fight with a blind person. Big advantage. How do we deal with these? We just go through them one at a time. First thing he's likely gonna wanna do is use that weapon with depth perception. He's gonna wanna know where his opponent is. You notice if you ever try to sweep the paws out from under a cat, they'll sort of just put prance over your hands, okay, by keeping their balance. This is a technique I've adapted for a Meridote. I call it the pussy prance. Okay, so now he's really in the dark. He doesn't know where I am. So I'm going to use another technique that's really out of sight. It's called throwing your voice. Visual distractions don't work, so I'm gonna do an audible one. I'm gonna take my voice, say it close, throw it far. This is something that is known as being bivocal. Oh! Okay, now he's angry. He's gonna use that weapon, swing it around. I'm gonna grab hold of it, stun him, okay? Now I'm going to sweep him off his feet. And as always, restomp that groin. So, that's how you deal with a blind attacker. I'm Master Ken. It's another secret street fighting tip. Us. I think one of those lights is out. What do you think, Tom? Well, you get. I'll check it. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You can purchase Master Ken and Todd Enter the Dojo Show merchandise at enterthedojoshow.com. You can book a live appearance with us at masterkenlive.com, and you can get deleted scenes and outtakes on our Patreon. Restop the drawing.